For this discernment brief, we consider the eighth of eight strategies for discerning the difference between the tactics of the divine inspirer and the tactics of the counter-inspirer. You will know an inspiration from the divine inspirer because it produces an intense sense of devotion and love. You feel a sense of selflessness and willing surrender of your life to God's control. The inspirations help you understand and trust received tradition, the commandments, and the precepts of Christ as proclaimed by the Catholic Church. However, you can be led astray in the afterglow of such inspiration and grace. You can be led astray by your own ideas or by the influence of the counter-inspire. Thus, Ignatius warns us to be highly attentive during the time just after divine inspirations. Be cautious, make no revisions, commitments, or plans during this time unless your discernments are clear as to the source of the inspiration. Here's a reflection exercise. Pray to the divine inspirer to have your memory energized, revitalized. Remember, write down briefly as best as you can recall about a time when you were living, feeling hopeful and in tune with God in your heart, on top of the world, and feeling that you would always be clear about what was good and right. Did an afterglow trick you to move away from God? Here's an example. We can remember St. Ignatius' experience of making his life confession. It was a graced experience to make that confession. Yet he launched himself into an obsessive habit of confession after that initial event that nearly derailed his conversion process. So be very careful about afterglows and the suggestions they inspire. Be brief and ask to be inspired as you remember and reflect. Thank God for his divine revelations and inspirations. May Almighty God bless you this day and always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And be not afraid.